Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on path graph. Path graph is a one type of graph in graph theory. So before going to the introduction of path graph, first of all, what is path and what is cycle and what are the differences between path and cycle? First of all, what is path? A path is a sequence of consecutive ver vertices. In that path, there is no repetition of the vertices. So hence, we can say that a path is a sequence of distinct vertices. Okay, Open, uh, starting vertex and ending vertex should not be the same in a path. Okay. So now see this example. So in this graph, what is path? We are starting from vertex A and go to vertex B and go to vertex C and go to vertex D and go to vertex E. So A, B, C, D, E is a path. Okay. So starting vertex and ending vertex should not be the same. So Hence, we can say that it is also called as a open path. Okay. So, now we go for the definition. A sequence of distinct vertices such that two consecutive vertices are adjacent. Okay. We can take D and E. These are two consecutive vertices. So, D and E are adjacent. Next, we can take C and D. C and D are adjacent. We can take B and C. B and C are adjacent. We can take A and B. A and B are adjacent. In that path, we can take any two consecutive vertices. That two vertices are adjacent. Starting vertex and ending vertex should not be the same. Okay. So, no vertex appear more than once in a path. Okay, so this is the description about the path. Next, what is a cycle? Cycle is nothing but a sequence of distinct vertices and also starting vertex and ending vertex should be the same. Okay, but it just may be repeated. So, example for cycle is we are starting from vertex A, go to vertex B, go to vertex C then go to vertex D, then go to vertex E, then go to vertex A. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, A. Here starting vertex and ending vertex should be the same. In the remaining vertices, there is no vertex appear more than once. B appear only once, C appear only once, D appear only once, E is appear only once. But starting vertex and ending vertex should be the same. In the remaining vertices, no vertex appear more than once. Okay, so this is a cycle. Cycle contains a closed path. Cycle contains a closed path. Path contains a open path. So closed path, open path. What is the difference between them? In the closed path, starting vertex and ending vertex should be the same. In the remaining vertices, no vertex appear more than once except the starting vertex. In the case of open path, starting vertex and ending vertex should not be the same. Starting vertex and ending vertex should not be the same. Okay. All the vertices in a given path okay, are distinct or different. That means no vertex appear more than once. So, this is the difference between path and cycle. Okay. So, in a path, no vertex appear more than once. Okay. There is no duplication of any vertex in the given graph. So, that vertex uh, not appear more than once. Okay. Next one. Next, we go for a path graph. In a path graph, okay, vertices and edges are lie on a straight line. Okay. 
So for example, we can take this path graph. Okay, what are the vertices are there? A, B, C, D and E. What are the edges? A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E. Okay, a path graph is a graph in which all the vertices and the edges lie on a straight line. Vertices are A, B, C, D, E and the edges are A, B, B, C, C, D and D, E. These vertices and the edges lie on a straight line. Then that graph is called as a path graph. Okay, a path graph with n vertices is denoted by P suffix n where n is equal to 1. So that means this is a path graph with one vertex. If n is equal to 2, that means P2, path graph with the two vertices. If n is equal to 3, so that is a P3, path graph with the three vertices. If n is equal to 4, that means P suffix 4, so path graph with four vertices. If n is equal to 5, so P5, path graph with five vertices. Okay, in the same way, uh, a path graph with the n vertices. Okay, a path graph contains n vertices is denoted by P suffix n. Okay, now observe this uh, P5 graph. Okay, so starting vertex and ending vertex has the degree 1. Okay, starting vertex, that means vertex A degree is a 1 and ending vertex, vertex E has the degree 1. The remaining vertices B, C, D has the degree 2. Okay, what is the degree of vertex B? 2. What is the degree of vertex C? 2. What is the degree of vertex D? Also 2. Okay, in a path graph with the n vertices, starting vertex and ending vertex has the degree 1. Okay, in the remaining n minus 2 vertices has the degree 2. Okay, next one. In a path graph, no vertex has the degree 3 or more. Okay, we can take any path graph. Okay, so degree of that uh, any vertex is not more than 3, 3 and uh, more. Okay, so we can take any path graph. Okay, path graph, any vertex in the path graph has the degree only 2. Okay, so starting vertex and ending vertex has only 1. Remaining vertices contains the degree 2. Okay, so because of that reason, paths are exactly the trees. Paths are exactly the trees in which no vertex has the degree 3 or more. Okay, next one. What is the chromatic number of path graph? So, the chromatic number of any path graph is 2. Okay, that means the minimum number of colors required to color all the vertices of a path graph is 2. So, how can you say that? For example, I, I, I am taking a, a P6 graph. P6 graph. So this is vertex 1, vertex 2, vertex 3, vertex 4, vertex 5 and vertex 6. Okay. Suppose I am applying red color to the vertex 1. Okay. Next, the same red color can be used to vertex 3. The same red color can be used to vertex 5. Okay. Next, for vertex 2, I am applying the blue color. Vertex 4, I am applying the blue color because 2 and 4 are not adjacent. So, for uh, vertex 6, I am applying the blue color. Okay, we can take any path with n vertices. The minimum number of colors required to color all the vertices of a given graph is 2. Okay, here for vertex 1, red color we are applied. For vertex 3, red color we are applied. For vertex 5, red color is applied. For vertex 2, vertex 4, vertex 6, so we are applying the blue color. So 1 and 2 are adjacent because of that reason we are using two different colors. 3 and 4 are adjacent, we are using two different colors. 5 and 6 are adjacent, we are applying two different colors. 
4 and 5 are adjacent, we are applying different colors. 2 and 3 are adjacent, we are applying the two different colors. So, the chromatic number of path graph is 2. Okay. In a path graph, we can take any path, no vertex has the degree 3 or more. Okay. So, this is the description about the uh, path graph and the differences between path and cycle. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So, Divdela Srinivasarao. Thank you.